All right, folks, we have another installment of Tell Us Your Best Story with my friend Robert Kuhn. And Robert, you tell me that you have a story about that might get kind of piratey. It's a, it's a pirate story, yeah, it could get piratey. All right, well, people tell great stories, so tell us your best story, Robert. All right, well, this is a story that, that changed my life significantly and um, began on the Atlantic coast of Central America. Undisclosed Where? location. Undisclosed? Oh. Undisclosed location. Okay. On the Atlantic coast of Central America, though. Okay. On a small island. Okay. Sounding good so far. I was living the simplest, minimalist lifestyle. I know it. Know it well and love it. Well, yes. Living in a, a thatched roof hut made of wild cane with some friends that had built the hut and were giving me a place to stay. Well, I worked on my own hut. And I'd uh, already began chopping leaves for the roof and, and cutting sticks to make the thing and uh well there was a tragedy that happened in the village where i lived and a neighbor a neighbor woman had a small baby maybe a a year old or less than a year old that died mm -hmm. and um there were neighbors and friends and she asked me if i would attend the wake because in, in in these communities when someone dies there's the home where they keep the body, they have a wake and everyone stays awake right, until yeah. the next day when they finally put the body in the ground and they stay with the family where it happens and um, since I, I'm a musician, I've always been a musician, they like to have music at these things because people stay awake all night and uh, more on Robert's music at the end, more on the music at the end, this is a different style of things but uh, so people are following, following through for the wake, following through, hanging out, they're build, making a little box for the, for the baby it's sad, but happy the women are baking cake and bread for people to eat. Uh, they have rum and dominoes and, and well, I had a little cane flute that I was playing. And eventually, before the day came up, the people were banging on homemade drums and things and while I was playing the flute and things got pretty... About how many people? 20? Probably 20. 20, 20, 20 rangers from 10 to 15. By the time the morning hours came, those was the kind of crusty old men that were still hanging out by, by this time. Uh, so. The people that were still awake when daylight came, they brought us, led us up the hill to where the graveyard was, and those are the people that were now in charge of digging the hole to, to bury the body and stuff. And um, They didn't want me to dig, they just asked me to continue playing music while they worked and stuff, and it was fine. They so you're playing a cane flute. Cane flute. While islanders are digging a grave for a baby. For a baby, yeah. Drinking wow. rum. Drinking rum. In the morning before breakfast. and. Well, by the time the hole was done, and the that just created a, a dark but beautiful image in my mind. As the sun, how rises. high up are you in mountains or are you in hills? Or... Uh, it's a volcanic island, so starting from the coast and just goes up to the peak, which is not more than a thousand feet. A lot of dark metamorphic rocks. And uh -huh. stuff. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Gotcha. And um, so um, by the time we finished digging the hole, every, all the people that had been awake all night were now pretty exhausted. And they cooked us a big pot of soup and everything and gave us some food and we went to bed pretty early uh while the rest of the funeral we didn't even attend the funeral or anything and, and went to bed um before day probably sometime before day uh there was a knock on the little door on the window door kind of thing <laughs> the window door <laughs> that's, how, that's how these places are a yeah. window. it was a window door and from someone lived around there and they said wake up they said, there's a boat on the beach crashing the rocks. And well, me and my friend, we, we got up to see what the excitement was about and we ran down the beach, which was close by where we were at. Still in a bit of a daze from the night before and the day before his activities. And, and um, it was all coming to one, it was all one, I mean, one continuous I'm, thing. I'm in. Much. You, like, you're, you're weaving a Hemingway type story. I here, told you it was a good story. Okay, yeah, keep going. Good story. Sorry. So, Good stories are not so we, to be interrupted. So we get down there, and there's a crew of people that are on the boat now. The boat had crashed on some rocks. It was a it was a pirate ship in the Caribbean. No, wait a minute. Not, not a typical say, pirate ship. We're not talking a galleon. It's not a galleon. It has three 250 horsepower engines on it. It's a fiberglass skiff that's probably 35 to 40 feet long. Uh, moves incredibly fast velocity across the ocean. Modern pirates. Modern pirates. Yeah. We get there and we, everyone scavenges the boat, strips it, takes the engines. Wait, where are the pirates? The pirates are gone. So is the bounty. So, so is, the, is the, the bounty that was on the, on the boat. The, the, the pirate's treasure. There's no treasure on the boat. It's been Wait, removed. 
Uh, you didn't foreshadow the bounty. Where, where, what bounty? Well, pirate pirate ship has to have bounty on it, right? That's why they're moving. <laughs> so. That's why they're pirates, because they're moving with bounty and they're moving with treasure. So they have to move so there's in the no night. Booty. There's no booty. You could call it booty. Yeah. I think we should call it booty. Let's call. It, let's go booty. Let's go booty. So it's a bootyless boat. It's a bootyless boat, but we still strip it anyway. You know, take the engines and the navigation stuff. There's some like tarps and random things, tools, marine batteries. We get everything. Minor booty. Minor booty. Not the real booty, booty. We, the, the, booty we 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 all knew was there. Caucasian booty, just a little. Bit. Exactly, just a little bit of booty. We're talking <laughs> meager booty. All but right. still something. But you're hungry, booty's booty. So that's that. And we took the stuff and somebody brought me a wheelbarrow and I was carrying it back to my house, my little hut that I was staying in. And I was somebody that used to like to explore the, the woods and the jungle around there plenty. And I saw some people across the field that were running in some activity that was nearby an old sunken well, a dry well that used to be there from an old homestead that was now gone. But there was still this rock well that was empty. And I saw some people, some neighbors that were close by, and I went over to see them. And there was the mother load of the booty. What are you talking about? The booty was in the well. Sunk you found that the Okay, so they the wreck. Booty. They wreck. This is the assumption. They wreck. The pirates, they're afraid. They take off running. They hide their booty. They hide their well. booty in the well. The well <laughs> is discovered by neighbor friends of mine. And we're all locals. We all know what's around there and everything. Like the pirates are not from there. They're from. A different country. Foreign even. pirates. Yeah, for they're for uh -huh. yeah. Well anyway, we share up What's the booty? I can't say that. It's treasure. Are it's you treasure. serious you can't say it? It is treasure. Can Just imagine the most valuable treasure you can possibly Wait, think of. Can you tell me after we cut this? I'll off? tell you after this goes off, yeah. Okay. But you're just imagine the most valuable you're treasure. You're being serious you can think though, of. you can't say what it was. I'm being serious. But it shines. And it makes people crazy. And it's the, right. it's it's the it's it's the treasure of treasures. All right, all right. That was sunken in the dark well. I think I got a little bit, of, maybe kind of an idea. All right, so you find this treasure. I take it. They give it to me, and they say, "Robert, take this and run with it." There was plenty the for villagers? everyone. The villagers. The oh, villagers. Yeah. Because they just want you to get out of there in case somebody's watching. Or They're something. sharing up. The, the now the treasure chest has been broken open. So you're suddenly a, a mule. For <laughs> this, this <laughs> treasure, like a change, supposedly. You got a booty full of booty, and you're running. And I run, and I have a big pile of leaves that I cut for a house that I was making a hut. And so I go and I stash underneath underneath the leaves. And it's not long before the rest of the villagers and the rest of the islanders and people from other islands and people from the mainland and from even from other countries hear about this treasure that's Are you joking? been discovered. I'm being 100 serious. So all kinds of other pirates, gangsters, hoodlums, everybody that's out to make so something the word hungry, gets out word gets out. That there's booty. Uh-huh. And that... The white man has so there was, <laughs> so was there more treasure? Then there's more people than the twenty people at the funeral. Then huh? oh yeah 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 yeah. There's, they come many people. Isn't come. that humanity? Uh huh. A, a, a human child goes. Of course, that's family. Let's not just rag on humanity. Humanity's awesome. It's family. You don't bust in on some family's thing. But a booty arrives. Everybody comes. That makes sense. Everybody. Forgive me. Oh, I was yeah. becoming negative. No, it's a good thing. Uh, yeah. It's better. It's all works it's out. It's better, yeah. It yeah. all works out. Some way it works out. So, but, well... It, there's I, more? There's more, yeah. The <laughs> story continues. And, um, well, it leads to love. It leads to betrayal. It leads to travel. And, uh, should we do a part violence. two? I think we should do a part we'll two. We'll do a part two. Ladies and gents, he's got, to get, he's got a show in Austin tonight. So, he's going to run. He has to run. This will be cool. A week later, a month later, a year later, we'll hear part, part two. two of the pirate booty in some undisclosed place in the south of the earth. To be continued. To be continued. Where can they find you, Robert Kuhn? You can find Robert Kuhn Music online at Robert Kuhn, K U H N music.com. Facebook, Instagram, wherever you get K U H N. K U H N. Spotify, iTunes. Yeah. Uh, what, kind, what kind of music is it kind of? Just it's, roughly it's Americana. Americana, folk, rock and roll from the world, from all English, Spanish, 
different styles from from uh, pirate music, you know. <laughs> awesome, man. Great story. Thanks, right. friend. Thanks, Kurt. Yeah, man. It's yeah. a pleasure. All right, folks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this edition. And remember uh, to like and subscribe. That stuff helps me out. So like thank you very much. Tell great stories, people. Good job, dude.